But Mr. Newman Mond, the billiards wizard, takes it even better in a demonstration of trick shots that's both amazing and amusing. For your entertainment, he places the three balls in line with the object of potting the red. How he does it is his business. Well, if you like his business, watch this. There are the three balls, and they've all got to go down. The last ball goes first, middle ball second, and first last. Again, very well then. And while you're working it out, Mr. Newman Mond will shuffle along with a few cannons. Appropriately enough, nurseries to him are just child's play. Here's a trick that's best practiced with an empty bottle. Even then, if you don't want a lot of broken glass on the table, take up tennis instead. After the bottle, a tumbler. It looks like any other tumbler, but Mr. Newman Mond has had it ever since it was a tablespoon measure, and now it'll do anything for him. It isn't often the glass rolls home too, is it? If you had any doubts about the steadiness of his hand, watch this. The two cues form a sort of overhead cable for the little round carriages to run along. And it's only because he wants to be awkward that he's placed one on top of the other. If you've allowed yourself to become a billiards addict, card playing, of course, only hastens the sad end. But before you do push off, it's possible to get some fun out of a cue, a card and a kink. You see, there are four packs now. The cue ball has cut the original pack as neatly as any conjurer. The very deuce. Oh, sorry, it's an ace. And another, and another. In fact, they're all aces. Potting a ball, or rather two balls, without using a cue, mayn't be exactly billiards, but it's darn clever. Voila. For two spins, he'd try to drop the ball into the near pocket. And by Jove, he does it. You want to see it again? Oh, all right. And that'll be your homework for today. <laughs>